Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, this is a collective tarot reading for all signs. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is applicable for all signs. Let us see what is the collective message, collective reading for all signs. I'm going to be delivering three psychic reading, okay? Um, thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. What is the guided message for all signs? Collective reading. Oh, two of cups. It looks like a love, love message or a relationship message. Let's see. What is the message? Collective reading for all signs. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. Let's look into... Wow, the first reading is definitely a love reading, okay? Think about your focus, think about your situation. First reading is definitely a love message. Six of swords, eight of wands, eight of swords in here. Okay. Daily collective reading. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. I'll probably do a separate love message, love reading. Okay. So, I mean, in the pre-shuffle, I can already see the Two of Cups. So, the first reading is definitely a love message, a love reading, okay? Um, there is definitely a soulmate connection that is thinking of you. If you watch this video, if you click this video and your intention is to pick up, a love message, a love reading, then the first one is a love reading, a love message. This is definitely like soulmate, okay? There's a soulmate connection in here. I think with the lover's card, you intended to... I think with, with, with the lover's card in here, you intended to break up with them. Like, you disconnected and you break up with them. So they can really figure it out, what they want. And so if you have this expectation and somehow plan or gut feeling that, okay, let me break up with you. Let me disconnect with you. You figure out what you want. And hopefully you wake up, you know, you have your iffy funnies and wake up call. And you eventually realize that we are soulmate. We are lover's card. Because look at that. The lover's card... This is a very strong connection, okay? Because this is a soulmate card, and next to the soulmate card is a Ten of Pentacles. So you probably met the person that you would like to have a long-term commitment, okay? When you see this person, when you met them, this is the one that you want to have a long-term commitment with them because this is Ten of Pentacles and the Lover's card, okay? In spite of their imperfection, you know, you, you're you choosing this person. It is, lover's card is a choice, okay? And the Ten of Pentacles, I would say, you pretty much sort out your finances, your life, your stability. So, you're probably just waiting for the right person now, okay? The first reading. Lover's card again, you could be a Gemini. Lovers, lovers. Yeah. When it comes to, I'm also getting like the first reading, um, if this person is not available, you're also open to take a risk or take a leap of faith with, you know, whoever is going to come in and offer you exclusive commitment and would be very, you know, generous, like generous when it comes to their feelings, generous with feelings, generous with time, and would stick around, would really... Because you are loyal. The first reading is about a person who's very loyal. You understand love, okay? One thing about you is that you understand love and loyalty. And you're also work. You're also hardworking. I could feel that there is a lot of a lot of stability in your life. And if there's something that is missing, probably is you know the relationship in here. But you're very stable. You're very stable. You work hard with your life. And you don't mind working towards a relationship if it's the right person. So I could feel that the first reading is very much applicable to 
you're open for this soulmate connection in the past and you're also open to call upon incoming soulmate connection you're waiting four of cups let's see you have an ace of wands so for 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 the first reading you're open for people connection in the past to come back but you want their loyalty okay because the lover's card in here two lover's card it already represents that when it comes to passion compatibility and chemistry you guys are a match now what you want is actually some sort of stability and long-term commitment so you're open from someone in the past and you're also calling upon a new soulmate and you have one so if you are keen to have a new soulmate there is a new soulmate okay four of cups in here you know this new soulmate connection it is younger than you okay i feel like you've met this person already recently uh four days four weeks ago okay uh you have a new you have a new soulmate okay i think this person is going to travel or they will disconnect they will be gone and probably after four days four weeks four and four you will be able to connect or match again with them okay so the first reading you're open to soulmate and you're calling upon new soulmate and i could feel that your vibe is really into i don't mind dating but i want it to be consistent so you kind of learn the lesson and also you should be proud of yourself because there's so much hard work that you put in your life because you're very stable okay so there was someone recently the past person okay this soulmate in here ooh. if you're not angry or mad at them they will return but for as long as this past person feels that you're upset or angry they wouldn't connect but you're more likely to connect with someone recently of a soulmate you met this person possibly online you met this person through a female friend you met this person exactly full moon for some of you guys um like in a nutshell end of june moving towards the month of july there's someone who would disconnect first and then they will return and when they return they're gonna be a soulmate um, I'm also getting like they need to disconnect because they have to travel. But you would still match, reconnect with them. And when they connect, when you connect, you forget a past and it's a soulmate. This is new-ish. There's still someone here from the past. But they can feel that you're possibly upset or they could feel that they might have disappointed you. So they're not showing up. Like they're kind of they're kind of avoiding you because they could feel that they they haven't really repented the sin. So for some as they feel so guilty, they wouldn't resurface. But you've got another soulmate, um, soulmate that's very connected in the er the energy. Um, this soulmate is most probably um will return during the full moon. Okay, full moon. Okay, this new soulmate is new moon okay remember that okay there's a letter w a white color um i'm also let's sing b and a and i don't know there's someone who's probably surname is brown there is a there's some someone that's letter l and y okay there's an l and y okay and um maybe someone works in a like governmental office for some of you maybe someone works in a garden horticulture um, like environmentalist something connected to nature um someone with a boat there's someone who's like owns a very beautiful house okay and for some of you guys someone is gonna travel but once they've returned from their travel they will connect with you okay now the second reading okay hmm you know the second reading is connected to the six of swords this is about mentally moving or shifting your energy okay because six and eight and eight it's possible that you're feeling like things aren't working your way things are blocked uh you might have felt like hmm uh there is a bit of this it's probably um it's like you need to shift your energy 
with the, the with the six of swords oh yeah the sun card page of pentacles the ten of cups for some of you guys it could be connect the second reading the second reading it's connected to like a daily like a daily energy like how do you it's giving me this feeling how do you release like on a daily basis you know on a daily basis at work at home or when you travel from from home to work or when you transition from work to home time you know work time and then transitioning to work time sorry from work time transitioning to home time um you know like they daily you would come across you know people that would probably piss you off you know but you would come across people that would make you laugh the universe is advising you your higher self and the universe is advising you to learn to shift or move your energy so if it's if the situation connected to work is busy annoying shift your energy that when it comes to home time create moments to not deal about like it's split okay split six of swords move on if it's work time it's work time okay once eight to five is finished you go to home time when it's home time you just talk about home okay so try to not carry over um you know, it, it's also possible that you're in a meeting and that's very tense or annoying. So you could carry over the intensity or the annoyance or the bad vibe in that meeting to another this and that. So try not to drag or carry over those unwanted energy. Try to really release, okay? The universe is encouraging you that when it comes to home time, it's home time. Work time, work time. When you're talking to this person, uh, you should be this person's compatibility energy and not you know what whatever is not you should talk about so it's it's like a daily guide to split your energy to not carry over energy because you could be like you might notice that some of your friends or maybe people that some people does not want to connect with you because you keep talking about this place to another place you know like there's something in here okay so try to split it's, it's also connected, guys, with, okay, work time, it's intense. Try not to carry over that intensity or low vibe or busyness to home time. And also that's applicable, like, if you're having this conversation to this person, you know, be, be it all about you and them and try to not over carry, like, not carry around whatever, especially if it's, heavy if it's especially if it's bad vibe try not to carry it around and talk you know keep talking about it to every people you meet okay not all of you are like that but it, it maybe but in a nutshell um the universe and your higher self is telling you that you could organize you can compartmentalize when do you feel this way when do you not do it or carry over it so you can enjoy other moments of your day like it's part it's part of your day okay ten of cups okay now the last reading hmm this is wish upon the star so the last reading is connected to what is next you know the last reading is connected to you your beautiful self, your beautiful life, and it looks like you're looking for some sort of inspiration because this is, you know, the star card, sunshine, I want to evolve, I want to ascend, I want to really pick a new adventure or a new uh, interesting activity to inspire me and to keep me going. There is a lot, seven of cups in here. It's also you could be struggling to pick but you have a lot of ideas write it down okay the universe is telling you it's time for you to look for a new adventure to create something new um to try something new okay there's something in here that um i don't know it it, it feels like you know it, it it's connected to wish upon a star like it can it's connected to your manifestation to your inspiration but if you want to kind of ignite your creative pursuit or creative passion or overall if you want to ignite and feel good about life experience is 
to create memories okay it's for one so um create memories so for some of you you just need to go in you know for once you might go into you might go into a dance you know something upbeat with the three of wands so for some of you if you're feeling low energy on where to tap in and increase your creative pursuit creative adventure uh creative spirit dance or something upbeat the four of wands because I don't know something is like a bit low like it's so quiet like you kind of need to dance you know like dance go to loud like loud music no like like shake it off because the four of wands he looks like sorry three of wands if you look at the three of wands she's dancing she's smiling she's connecting connect to yourself connect to that playful energy inside of you so you can ignite and make your wish come true I think the reason why I'm hearing the word wishful thinking, wish come true is, you know, I'm sure you've watched this, you know, videos and movies that some of those great personality that was able to create a great project, they were able to create it either they went through some sorrow, you know, it's like a, in your breakdown, you create something beautiful or in your breakthrough, you create something beautiful. This reading create happy memories create happy memories you'll be connected to your playful inner child and it will ignite your creative spirit again and you will be inspired to create some new pursuit or new challenge in here but it's connected to you being playful okay it's not something it's i don't think this is like you go into a disaster you have a breakdown and you come out with a big project you know some stories online or in the movie what we they hit rock bottom and they created something beautiful out of this 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 channel okay i think i've been share over sharing this but this channel i created this because i have a huge breakup rock bottom and it was created something beautiful came out of that and this is this channel okay but it's not like this okay this is your next breakthrough creative spirit creative adventure it's connected to something of good vibe okay you know like four of three of wands shake it off like just create one good memory it could be one travel you know you travel good food good wine you know good people good adventure after that you're feeling inspired okay i want a new job now okay i want a new body okay i want to pursue this you know project you're feeling inspired again okay so i love it i love the last reading because i could feel that you are always wanting to enhance your life experience which is the purpose of why we're alive because every day we have to make an effort to look into what else do we want to experience in this beautiful life okay so this is what i have for you Thank you so much, guys, for connecting with me. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate you. Please don't forget to click the bell and click the subscribe button. I will see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.